What's up, you guys? It's Adana. So I know that school is about to start for many of you, and maybe you are a pre-PA student preparing for PA school, and your GPA is not right where you want it to be uh, to apply to the schools that you want to apply to. So if that is you, this video is for you, because in this video, I'm going to give you five tips that you can do to help overcome and supplement that low GPA. Let's get into the video right now. All right, what's up you guys? Sit down, welcome back to my channel. So like I said, um, school's starting over. It's time to figure out like, what are you doing? Because your GPA is not where you thought it was or not where you want it to be. And that means that it's pushing you out of the realm for a lot of these PA programs because there are over 300 programs and the majority of them require a minimum or suggest a minimum of a 3.0 GPA. Now, with that being said, all hope is not lost. It is not like a all the end all be all because you still have the opportunity to become a PA and get into PA school by simply following these five things that I've kind of outlined. Um, this will definitely help put you in a better position to get an interview and hopefully get accepted to the PA program of your choice. So the first thing is, is to simply do your research. I say this all the time. That's like my mantra, do your research. But do your research in the fact that if you have a low GPA, let's say, um, you know, you did really bad in your first couple of years of undergrad, but really good your last two years or your last year, there are very, um, like there are quite a few programs that either look at your last 45, 60, or 120 credits. And if you are part of the, the group of people who kind of just picked things up as you went along in undergrad, then you're going to apply to those schools that only look at the GPA from those last few years or those last few semesters of your undergraduate program because that puts you in a better position to now apply to more programs than you were if you're just looking at schools that look at your overall GPA. Okay, the next thing for you to do is apply to as many schools as possible. So after you've done that research and you've figured out all of the schools that you are eligible to apply to, apply to as many of them as, as you can, right? You don't want to put all of your eggs in one basket. So applying to two schools here or one school here isn't always the best option for you if you have a low GPA. You want to kind of stack your bets and um, make sure that you're you're putting yourself in a position to come out on top by giving yourself the opportunity to apply and get in and get offers for interviews to many programs. Something else that you can do is go ahead and take those standardized tests. Like I know you, you, you may not be a good test taker. If you're not a good test taker, then you might want to follow some of the other four, four suggestions that I'm going to give you. But you know, when it comes to overcoming a GPA, a lot of times schools are looking like, oh, are you going to be able to handle the course load? And if you're not able to handle the course load, then maybe I'm not able to offer you an acceptance into our program. But how you can prove that you can handle the course load is by taking these standardized tests and doing really well on them. So studying really hard for them and taking like your GRE, your PACAT, your CASPER. Um, some schools even accept the MCAT. I mean, if you want to do that, sure. But take the the required test slash recommended test for PA school um, and, and do your best on them and see where you come out because that will help overcome that GPA. Okay, the next thing that you should absolutely do is go ahead and supplement any like of your volunteer hours or shadowing hours with more hours okay um now the more experience that you have in terms of understanding what the pa does having um more options for people to give you a very good recommendation letter the better it's going to look on your application and the last thing that i definitely think that anybody should do especially if you are not like Oh my gosh i need to get in right now this is what i need to do i i'm supposed to be a pa so next year i'm getting in if you can take some time take a gap year or two to get as much patient care experience as you can that is going to be such a benefit to you so if you're applying to a school whose minimum requirement for their patient care experience is 500 but the average student may have like a thousand or two thousand but here you come in with five thousand hours 
how much better is that going to look on your application um and how are the, how, how are they going to look in terms of like choosing a student that may have like a 2.9 not right at the 3.0 but 5000 hours versus somebody that has like a 3.3 or 3.4 but has like 700 hours Th those things matter and so if you keep these five things in mind um, you're definitely going to put yourself in a better position to get into a school um, and hopefully become a PA. So hopefully this was helpful for you. If you have any other questions for me, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Adama PA and on Instagram at Get That's the University. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!